Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, I'm going to talk with you about file permissions, what they mean, what they're for, and how to set them. File permissions are the most basic form of security control on a Linux-based operating system. They're implemented in a manner which can be configured to grant or deny access to files. The permissions can be modified by either the one who owns the file or the super user. The instruction to modify the permissions can take numeric arguments or symbolic arguments. Okay, so first thing we're gonna wanna do is be able to see the permissions of a file. Let's go into our test directory again. So cd space test, and we still have those two directories from when we're mounting things. Let's uh, make a couple of files. So touch test file dot text, right? So ls. Okay, now you see we have two directories and one file. So let's type ls space dash l to see the permissions. And so let me explain this to you. What I've highlighted right here are the file permissions. And the first bit in the file permissions is the file type. And the next three are the permissions of the owner. The following three bits are the permissions of the group. And the last three are the permissions of anybody who is either not in the group or not the owner. So anybody else. And the last bit is a single character that specifies alternate access methods. For simplicity's sake and brevity, I'm just going to cover the owner, group and other permissions because those that's most likely what you'd be focusing on. In this instance, this directory here, this is the file type D means directory. R means that the owner can read the directory. W means that the owner can write to the directory and X means that the owner can execute directory. However, it's a directory, so it doesn't really get executed. And look at this file, it's very similar. And then let's move on to group, which is, are these three bits right here. The group can read, but the group cannot write, and the group cannot execute. And now others can read, however, others cannot write, and others cannot execute. Now, let's talk about how to modify the file permissions. So there are two ways to modify the file permissions. It can either be done through a numeric method or via a uh, character method. Let's first use the character method. So in the character method, we will send the instruction chmod, chmod, which means change modify. Let's expand the help for this, H-E-L-P. Anytime you have an instruction and you're not quite sure how to use it, just type help. Our usage is chmod, option, mode, and file. Now, I'll give you an example of this. So we do chmod space who permissions and then file name. This is just another example, a little bit, little bit more clear example of the usages of this uh, instruction. Now let's actually see this do something. Okay, let's say with our test file right here, we want to give execution permissions to the user. So we'll do chmod user equals plus x. And then the file, which is test file. Now we do ls space dash l again and we can see before our test file read write but not execute for the user. Yes, now you see test file is in green. We actually didn't add read and write. So what we did was we turned read and write off and turn on execute. So let's try this again. So the chmod plus rwx. Now let's look, look at the file again. You see rwx test file read, write, execute for the user. And you would do the same thing instead of you, if you want to do this for the group, you'd put a G here for group. Now look at um, the file again. So you now read, write, execute for the group. Let's do the same thing for others. Others, oops, that's a zero. We need O for others. Read, write, execute. Now it's read, write, execute for the owner. Read, write, execute for the group and read, write, execute for others. So that's how we added the permissions for owner, group, and others. Now let's remove permissions. So instead of plus, we will do minus. So let's say group minus rwx. Now let's look at the file. Let's... Now you see we have rwx for read, write, execute for the owner, but no read, write, execute for the group. So that's how we subtract permissions from the file. And this is using the character method. Now let's uh, talk about using the numeric method. So this is a online permissions calculator. It's uh, permissionscalculator.org, symbolic. And uh, there's actually a lot of information you can get from this site here. You just select your permission bits. We're, we're gonna focus on user, group, and others. So let's say we want to have read, write, and execute for user, group, and others. See each bit is a value here, but user can read, so that's a four. Execute, that's a one. Write is a two. So the sum of these three bits is a numeric value. Let's say 777. 
right? That means user read, write, execute, group read, write, execute, and others read, write, execute. Let's go over to our terminal and type that in. So right now our file, we have read, write, execute for the owner and nothing for anyone else, right? So let's say we say uh, chmod space 777 and then the file name, test file, right? So we just modified the file. Let's take a look at it, ls space dash l file name. Now you see it's read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute for user group and others. Now let's uh, try it again to make it 700 and test file again. And there we go, the numeric method for changing our file permissions. In this segment, we've talked about file permission. I've shown you how to review them, what they mean, and how to set them. There's a lot more that I didn't cover. If you have anything to contribute, please leave your comments at element14.com forward slash pseudosargent.